Are you a coach who works with young people? Maybe you're an academic coach, executive function coach, ADHD coach, educational therapist, or some other person who is an edupreneur. You have started a private practice and now you're trying to find clients. Last week, I discussed the most important successful way I have built my own business as an academic coach, which is relying on relationships with other academic coaches to send me referrals when they are too full. You can click below if you'd like to watch that video if you haven't seen it. Today, I want to talk about three different ways that I actually, in my own practice, have created those relationships with other coaches. My hope for you is that you can go out, follow these instructions, and create a thriving business of your own. Alrighty, three ways to build these relationships with other coaches. The first one, and the most important one, maybe, but the hardest one is simply the cold call. You can reach out to other coaches, perhaps in your community, if you want geographic locality. Is that even a word, locality? You can reach out to other folks who actually work with the same kind of client you work with or slightly different kind of a client. You can perhaps look at folks who work with the same age group. Maybe they're not all in the same uh, vicinity geographically, but they're out there on the internet. So doing some research and simply reaching out and making an invitation. Uh, that's one way. The second way is to start a support group. This is actually exactly what I did. Uh, and I did it not because I was even trying to market at the time. This was over 15 years ago. I had no idea how to market. I just knew that I was so effing lonely uh, as a coach, working all by myself out of my home office, aka my apartment, and I just needed companionship. So when I was doing the cold call, I also started, uh, I invited folks to, to come to a coffee shop back then. And you know what? It turned out that one of those people ended up going on sabbatical for a year and sending so many of her clients to me. And it really gave my business a boom. And plus, I wasn't lonely all the time. We just got together once a month. So it wasn't too hard uh, to fit that in to everything. So I would rec recommend one of those. Now, I also know that many of you may not even have the energy to do either one of these. And if that's the case, I recommend joining a group. I happen to know a really good one because I started it, the Anti-Boring Educators Club. And so we are available and we are a wonderful referral network for each other. Well, with a caveat, if you come in and stay quiet and don't participate in community, nobody knows what you're gifted at doing. And so nobody uh, sends clients to you. But if you come in, if you come to our community calls, if you are generous about offering resources, if you are humble about asking for questions, asking questions and asking for help, everyone gets to know you and they start sending the perfect clients to you your way. This is available inside my community. And if you want to get a taste of my community, Community, uh, simply go to GretchenWagner.com slash live and I do a free office hours every month and you can get a little feel for what it's like to be around a group of passionate, fun educators led by <laughs> moi. So of course, I selfishly uh, would love for you to try number three, but you can do number one or two on your own without spending any money uh, to join my community. And of course, my office hours is free, so you don't have to spend money to come to that either. Um, but I also want to let you know, if you're like, I want to do cold calls, but I'm too scared to do that. I teach a very specific process for how to reach out to folks you don't know. And if you come into my community, you will get to learn that process and get support putting it into action. So there are many reasons to surround yourself with a community of other coaches. Oh, 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 and before you go away, please, 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 I don't know why I'm crossing my fingers. Oh, I'm crossing my fingers because I just really would love for you to take a quick action. Will you like, will you subscribe? Will you hit the little notification bell, something to show your love here on YouTube? It super helps me and it's a way for you to show your commitment to actually joining community. Good luck out there.